a friend of mine who runs one of the biggest trucking companies in the United States, at every speech to his employees, is saying, we're not in the trucking business. Our business is actually the standard of living of the American population. As companies are needing more effective supply chains to remain competitive, they're also needing people who understand supply chain in, a, in an in-depth way. It involves more than getting from point A to point B. It involves the environment. It involves energy. It involves planning and the mathematical models to actually make everything work with efficiency, sustainability, and improvement of quality of life. CTL is where the future of transportation, logistics, and all those great and little things that involve movement of goods and services come together. The MIT Center for Transportation Logistics is an interdepartmental center here at MIT. What we really look at is to try to develop, through our research projects, new insights into supply chain operations. The MIT Center for Transportation Logistics actually has three main missions. The first one is knowledge creation. That's the research that's going on in the center. The second mission is educating students. We have several programs at the graduate level where we are educating some of the best students in the world. The third mission is move the results of the research through our supply chain exchange into practice. We're really motivated by real problems. I think there's nothing more exciting than going out to a company and identifying something new to work on. We bring together industry with our students and actually see the ideas of our students, of our faculty and researchers put into motion. And we want to change the way that the supply chain is acted in, in practice and make that better, not just improve the theory. And since transportation is inherently an interdisciplinary field. We need capabilities in economics, we need capabilities in technology, we need capabilities in, a, in any number of technical areas. And at MIT, we have a culture of working across boundaries. So you see in a lot of the research projects that we have, you'll have folks not just from our particular sector, but from the Sloan School of Management, from the Media Lab, from other departments and groups at MIT. Being here, it seems you're at the main point where the future is being developed. The real challenge is being able to do your own work when there's all this exciting stuff going on. Supply chain management and logistics is an international profession. The flow takes place all over the world. There's another six billion people around the world that keep growing economically and that uh, companies will need to reach with products and services. So there's a global perspective to the education that looks at how different perspectives and different processes change and they're affected by where they are across the world. Whenever I see the group of 35 or so master's students march as part of the commencement exercise across the stage, that's a good day. Whenever I see the result of a research project, when a company actually adopts our recommendation and they work and the results are strong, that's a good day. You learn from the best. The best faculty, the best people in industry. When you walk through the hallways, you can hear conversations that are just... Right, about people's research yeah. and it just surrounds you here. The network that has been built around MIT and CTL made these ideas have the opportunity to be connected and eventually translated into something that changes the world.